bonds trade in a marketplace, and that marketplace determines what something is worth. And for bonds, the factors are rate, credit quality, and time to maturity. Now, we're about to dive into details regarding bonds, so I'm gonna do my best job to be uh, brief, but also not skip over any points that are relevant to buying bonds and understanding what you're looking for to be a great investor. Bonds are traded in $1,000 increments, but often quoted based on 100 cents on the dollar. This is also known as, a hun as par, 100 cents on the dollar. So 10 bonds trading at par in this example would cost you $10,000. And the statement would show $100 per bond. And if you bought a US 30-year government treasury bond today for par, and rates went even lower, and you look smart in hindsight for locking in that paltry 1.2% rate, right? Because rates could go negative. But what happens if rates go higher? Who will want to buy your 1.2% bond to pay you the same price you paid? Think of it as a seesaw. The higher rates go, the less favorable lower yielding bonds look to the current marketplace. Now you have two choices as a bondholder. Choice one, hold the bond until it matures in 30 years in this example. Choice two is to sell that bond at current market conditions, which might make you a profit or a loss. For example, the bond you paid 100 for might now be selling for 70 cents on the dollar for paper loss of 30%. Now, when you own a bond fund, you don't own the individual bonds, but rather shares in a collective. And because of this, you can't say with certainty that if you just wait until maturity, you will get back your principal. Now, some unique bond funds are comprised of specific maturity dates uh, for all their holdings, which makes them more, let's say, predictable, but you still can't guarantee return of principal if held to maturity. Of course, defaults and borrowers not paying their debt are a different aspect to losing money in bonds. Bonds are boring. Bonds are boring, and I know this because in my 25 years as a portfolio manager, I have never gone uh, asked once, not once, at a cocktail party for a good tip on buying a bond. Bitcoin is exciting. Tech stocks, well, they get their pulse going. And when there's ever a market pullback, everyone wants to know what great stocks should be purchased. Not once has anyone ever asked about bonds. So, yes, bonds are boring, just the way I like it when I'm entrusted with someone's life savings and they're looking for predictable income.